speaker is Mr. Yusuf Adeleke, the research affiliate. Uh, he's a training fellow from Nigeria, but he's right now with the CSSP at J JNU. Uh, and his uh, topic is Agribusiness Innovation in Nigeria, Issues, Opportunities, and Options for Growth. guideline for presentation. So basically, I'm looking at um, every business innovation in Nigeria, what are the issues, the opportunities, and the options for growth. Uh, at the moment, um, OK, yes. So the paper looks at um, the object objective of the paper is uh, to assess the potential of uh, every business innovation in Nigeria, mm -hmm. particularly mm -hmm. looking at the issues, opportunities, and options that could facilitate growth, open up the sector for international investors' um, participation, and um, increase export and reduce import index. So what we're doing right now is that um, we uh, Nigeria, the truth of the matter is that Nigeria is not food secure. We've, uh, over the years, we've relied too much on um, uh, the uh, revenue from export of crude oil. But the reality on ground now is that um, the sale of crude oil has dropped. So our oil is not in demand again. We need to diversify our economy and uh, to, you know, to, pilot, uh, to run our budget. And on the other, on the other hand is um, this demog demographic uh, dividend where we have um, a large number of unemployed youths uh, who are skillful and then who can also contribute to the development of um, the economy. So what do we do? with uh, identified agri agriculture as a sector. But then, across the world, people are not looking at agriculture as what it used to be. They are looking at agriculture as, bi as a business. So that is the concept of um, agribusiness. Then what do we do about it? How do we bring investors in? Investors want to come, but they need to know what are the issues, what are the opportunities, then what is government doing to drive growth? And that is what the people will look at. So this is just a brief about Nigeria. You can see the um, unemployment rate is still very high. And then we have um, a very strong population. In the, in, uh, according to the ranking recently that I checked, we are the seventh in the, in the world and then the most populous uh, nation, black nation in the world. So we have that uh, potential for it. So um, if you look at it, government, like I said earlier on, government has been focusing on oil, <coughs> neglecting other sectors. So, um, and then from a report from Agribusiness Development Assistance to Nigeria, uh, they find that um, these are some of the, these are the top 10 products, agricultural products being exported from Nigeria. And majorly, India is one of the destinations. Uh, but then, so there's high potential in agriculture. And then if you also look at it, uh, we get our, ex, uh, <laughs> our import from, um, the top among them is Asia. They're followed by Europe, America, Africa. Then uh, if you look at um, the GDP, uh, most of uh, the GDP has favored the service sector, the IT. Uh, Africa is still behind, despite the opportunity. And then if you look at the uh, GDP, G G GDP by agricultural activities, uh, it still uh, is um, dominated by uh, uh, crop production. So, but then, if we need to um, reduce import, increase uh, local generation, and then create export, then that means Asia has to start to think: How do we come into Nigeria, and then we, uh, you know, invest uh, so that we can still maintain the business um, opportunity uh, relationship we've had over the years? So, um, then I look at, and then I try to review all the past policies and programs of government before the independence down to, uh, uh, down to, uh, to this present period. And I discovered one thing. I won't want to go too deep into it. Uh, 
issue of um, agribusiness, as much as government has always wanted to drive um, uh, our growth using agriculture, they never paid interest into seeing agriculture as a business. They just see agriculture as a way of life, as a practice, which um, speaks to why we've not been able to generate much from it. So, but effort on it started around uh, 2007, when Nigeria came up with the seven point agenda. And then between 2010 to 2015, you will see the sharp growth in agriculture because the present uh, president of AFDP, AFDB, Ar uh, um, Africa Development Bank, uh, for a few women, uh, happens to be Minister of Education, uh, Minister of um, Agriculture then. So it brought about, so as an innovative approach to doing ag ag uh, uh, to managing agriculture in Nigeria. And that's actually earning the current uh, position he is today in Africa. So you could see a lot of initiat in initiative brought into Nigeria. And then, but at, then at the moment we have APP, the Agricultural uh, Promotion Policy, which for the very first time actually speaks to focus on agribusiness. And then, so I just give a, a, um, a sample of what, uh, what we have. This is um, our export uh, our balance of trade with the European market. You see that around the time, like I said, 2010 to 2014, you see that we're having more of export than import. But as it is now, after, after that, um, the uh, minister you know, finished his time and then went, um, uh, left Nigeria for AIBB, with all, all of a sudden it began to drop. So that brings to the fore the concern for more concentration, especially on this APP uh, agricultural promotion policy that government has as of today. If we, uh, because between 20, 2016 and 2020, we need to review the policy. How far have we gone? So then, um, this, I try to give a picture of what the policy is all about. It has, um, sorry, I don't know, it's not too clear. Uh, it's clear. It has um, the priority area, we have four priority areas, 11 objectives, then three thematic areas. Then for the first time, what, what interests me particularly is that this is the first time that agribusiness will be highlighted in the policies based on the ones that we built in the past. So we're looking at, so one of the thematic areas is um, agribusiness agri investment development. So which means Nigeria is now seeing agriculture as a business now. So um, then, what are the issues? I'll quickly go into, into it. So the issues now, the issue is that um, from research done in 2013 by the Federal Minister of Agri and Rural Development, they, have, they found that um, um, what the, one of the most, uh, one of the top issues in um, agribusiness in Nigeria is um, lack of government coordination. And that speaks to, that justifies one of my research paper that I'm going to present in, in the next two weeks, which looks at why policies fail in Nigeria, or why we, why we don't get too much from policies and programs. So, um, government, uh, lack of government coordination, and uh, you, can, you can also see that in 2016 also, they also uh, did a, um, a research and they, they found out these are some of the issues that we are uh, found out. What are the opportunities? The opportunities that we have the market in sub-Saharan Africa. We have the population. We have the abundant human resources. Then government need to harness all this together. Then the issue of bureaucracy, um, public service bureaucracies, corruption must be checked. Then what? Uh, then that's the that's the that's the AFDB president. You can see the Nigerian rice during his own uh, era. So we're actually consuming rice from Nigeria. We're not importing more from Thailand, as it has been the case. Because each year we keep importing between three to five billion dollars of food every year. So what are the options for growth? I've tried to use our SWOT analysis. To look at um, the um, the strength, the weakness, opportunity, and threat based on literatures that have been published. If you read the paper, you get. So I try to select each of each uh, researcher, uh, each researcher's um, uh, re um, outcome in their papers, and then I try to create a grid. Then how do we define uh, options for growth? Then the first one is uh, if you link the strength against the opportunity. Then I came up with four strategic directions. One is how do we capture our market, both the local and international market, utilizing available resources that are, are, are in abundance. That is one. Then in looking at um, weakness and opportunity, how do we increase our cultural production to meet the demand? Then, of course, we need to meet the local demand before we even start thinking about um, 
in exposing solar power present. The third one is um, strength against uh, uh, the threat. So uh, how do we establish institution, uh, institutional trust and effectiveness, effective management of the fund to attract foreign investors? We need to, we need to create this, in, uh, put this in place. Then the fourth one is what innovative approach can be adopted to, to boost productivity amidst prevailing challenges. So these are, these are the four critical uh, options uh, that I've been able to draw out from the papers I've reviewed. And then if these areas can be addressed, yes, investors will come in, then we can start to see um, develop, uh, uh, output in the, by the year 2020 in the area of agriculture. So that leads me to my conclusion. So in concluding the paper, and I, I came up with, uh, okay, fine, government has to raise the performance of agriculture from its current 23% share of GDP as of 2016. So which means if you continue to do what I've elected, we can actually see growth in agriculture because government has set uh, a target to meet by the year 2020. So um, if this is followed, of course, we should be able to meet that. Then also, we also have to encourage innov innovation for productivity research activity in the country. So I have so many other con uh, uh, issues I've, uh, uh, I've suggested to the government and then to our investors. Uh, if you actually go to the paper, you can send me email. My email is there and my contact is there. So thank you very much. Question for him? Can I ask again? Yeah, please. What? Okay. You have addressed very current and uh, relevant issue of your country. One thing I would like to, uh, like to ask, whatever what, uh, I could learn from it, that you want every business should work as an alternative, as food to oil, as your country has been doing. Uh, as far as agriculture policy is concerned, India focused on agriculture in 2000. National policy came in 2000. But as you have uh, told in your talk, it was in 1988 when you had national policy. Yes, national that was the first policy for agriculture. Others have been national programs, programs, yes. Yeah. So but agribusiness, you want, uh, what do you mean? At the diversification of agriculture, that is more emphasis should be on floriculture, horticulture, or it is <coughs> agri processing duties. Okay, fine. Uh, like I said, so that is mechanized. Like I said, simple thing yes. Without any investment that you can go. Yes, like I said. Sorry, uh, uh, because of the time fr uh, frame, I tried to be very fast, and I couldn't go down as that defined. And then, but I believe um, the the uh, participant we have knowledge of something, so I just try to skip. Um, like I said, agri business, um, we'll be looking at how do we start looking at the business end of agriculture. Fine, either from the input, from the processing, or from the production. So throughout the value chain, how do you pick out the business angle of agriculture? You know, so that is actually what business, uh, agri business is talking about. So fine. Yeah, so if if, we, if we, um, uh, after identifying the business angle of it, then the structure you put in place, then we talk about the incubation, agri business incubation. So it's actually from the incubation. If you want to do a cluster concept, then you can bring the actors together within an area. Then uh, you start you. Know, uh, focusing on maybe input processing or production and like I said honestly if I, I was thinking I'll have like um, 30 45 or one hour for my presentation I would have gone so deep because if you look at the paper I've, I, I try to look at the global perspective some of the um, incubation center agribusiness incubation across the world I look at Incresat for example in India I look at uh, uh, Julisco from Ch um, Chile and um, from uh, Mexico. So I tried to look at all the incubation centers. What did they do? Some were actually formed by government. Some was even formed by a state uh, minister. And then what do we have in Nigeria? My slide, I didn't really want to go into it because if I should cut to that, it will take so much of our time. So like I said, Madam, uh, I think I'll be able to answer your question a little bit. But then if you are not too satisfied, you can send me an email and then I can also share with you my paper like I always like to do I sh I give out my paper critique it if you have issue with it it's also improve on my next paper uh, thank you very much thank you, thank you.